imagine if you're in an accident and your neck is injured and your shoulder starts to hurt. What is it? Is your neck hurt or is it your shoulder or are both of them hurt? Well, many people, they go to law offices where their cases are not handled by attorneys who are competent in determining what kinds of injuries a person has suffered and sending them to the right doctors and the right specialists to be treated. They send the cases over to what they call legal assistants to do the evaluation, to set up the doctor's appointments. These legal assistants are not lawyers. They're not trained in the law. They have very little knowledge of medicine usually. And very often they're doing disservice for the client. I'm Eli Castronova. I represent people injured in accidents in Los Angeles, California. When a client comes to my office, I am the one who talks to them. I am the one who finds out what is bothering them physically. And I am the one that determines what kind of doctor they should see, whether it's a neurosurgeon or an orthopedic doctor or just a chiropractor or a physical therapist. I have been practicing for over 40 years. And in my career, I have dealt with every injury there could possibly be from the top of the head to the bottom of the toes, literally. So um, another thing is that I grew up in a medical family. My father uh, was a surgeon for over 50 years. And as I was growing up, uh, I would frequently talk to him about medicine. Uh, it became a, uh, something that was second nature in my family. We'd talk about it around the dinner table. Uh, and uh, I would go to the hospital with him even when he was making rounds and he talked to me about different cases. So I became uh, well versed in the medical um, language, so to speak. And when I became an attorney, I would uh, talk to him about cases if I was unfamiliar with a, a particular injury somebody suffered and he gave me a lot of insight. So I was ahead of most attorneys uh, as far as understanding medicine and, and potential injuries when I started practicing. Uh, for mo most attorneys, it's a learn on the job type of thing. Uh, I really detest it when law offices are run like factories, when clients are treated like products uh, just to make money. Uh, the client, when they come to you and they've been involved in an accident, they're hurting. Uh, maybe they can't work because of their injury. They um, are, are not able to make money to take care of their family. Uh, they um, are, are uh, in a situation in which uh, maybe there's thousands and thousands of dollars of hospital bills that they can't pay. And uh, there's a lot of stress and anxiety that comes along with that. So my job is to make them feel assured that they will be taken care of physically, uh, get them back on their feet, make them well, so they can support their family, and also to make sure that the person who injured them and their insurance company, which is the real party here, compensates the client for all of the pain, injury, anxiety, stress, loss of enjoyment of the things they normally like to do that they can't do now uh, and make sure that, that is done fairly. You cannot do that if you shuffle a client off to a quote unquote legal assistant. I do not do that in my, my practice. I talk to the clients. If it, it's a situation, as I mentioned when I first started, uh, a neck injury or a shoulder injury or both, I want to make sure that I really talk to them about where they're feeling the pain. Uh, many times folks have a shoulder pain that's, that's terrible and they think that they've torn something in their shoulder or they've injured their shoulder. Uh, and it turns out that actually the pain's coming from their neck, which is a much more serious situation because it's most likely a herniated disc where there's a disc in the neck, these little um, cushions uh between our vertebrae that's pushing out and impinging on either a nerve root or 
the spinal cord itself. And this is a very dangerous situation. It's a situation that should be addressed right away. So when a client tells me that scenario, I right away send them to an orthopedic specialist or spine specialist to make sure that they get a full exam, that orthopedic tests are done, neurological tests, that MRIs are done to see if there is a, a, a disc herniation, and that they're treated right away so they could start to feel better and, and at least know what they're looking at. Many attorneys, if they send uh, the client off to their legal assistant, the legal assistant hears shoulder pain and they think, oh, it's a shoulder injury. So they send them to a joint orthopedic doctor. Joint orthopedic doctors do not treat herniated discs. They might know something about it, but it's not their specialty. A client should see a specialist, not someone who is treating some other part of the body. Uh, if a client has to get specialized treatment, such as injections because of a herniated disc uh, or even surgery, we know the finest orthopedic surgeons and neurosurgeons in California who will treat the client and even perform surgery uh, without asking for payment up front. So in a situation where somebody's hurting and they can't work or, or they're hurting and they have to work less or they work with pain, we don't want a situation where this goes on forever. We wanna make sure that they get the treatment that they need uh, as quickly as possible, even surgery. Uh, another thing is when attorneys turn cases over to their legal assistants, the legal assistants often don't know the ins and outs about finding the most coverage to cover those injuries. Very often we have situations in which a client comes to my office and they're involved in an accident with, with a, a car, uh, a, a beat up car that's got very little insurance coverage and the client has a serious injury. They don't know what to do to try to find uh, more coverage. For example, in a situation such as that and a client talks to me uh, when they come in my office, I'm going to immediately get an investigator out to find out if that person uh, was working at the time of the accident potentially uh, and uh, whether there is a, an, um, an employer who may be responsible. And usually these commercial policies or employment uh, types of policies uh, are very, very high, the limits. There, there may be a million dollars, 500,000, something of that nature. And it makes a big difference in uh, evaluating the client, the type of treatment they can get and the kind of recovery you can get for the client. Uh, also, we may have situations in which uh, maybe uh, a city had done something wrong. Maybe they hadn't cut back trees in front of a stop sign, or maybe uh, a uh, traffic signal was not working for some reason. Uh, all of these situations are situations in which you could potentially recover much more money for an injured client, especially a serious injury, injured client. And legal assistants, they don't even think of these things. So when a client comes to my office, I talk to them. I determine the best course for their treatment and getting them better, the kinds of doctors they should go to. And I determine uh, what kind of investigation should be done to try to find uh, these deep pockets who may have more coverage in a situation in which the other party seems to be a deadbeat. I am reading a real Google review from our client, Ms. Tolentino. Attorney Castronova is very professional and knowledgeable. He keeps you informed of the status of your case and he always strives to get the best and highest settlement. Personally, he is very kind and accommodating. Involved in an accident? Get the settlement you deserve. Please use the number on the screen to call us. We are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I can't say enough good things about Eli. Having worked for numerous attorneys, he is my favorite. He has handled numerous cases for my family and I from personal injury to medical malpractice. He has over exceeded our expectations every time. We just broke the record recently on a hit and run I was involved in, settling the case in three and a half weeks for more than I expected. Thanks, Aliyah. The Doral Family. Simply the best lawyer and got me a very good settlement.
I'd recommend him to anyone. I know thank you. It went very well with the lawyer. I highly recommend him 100%. All the staff are very friendly and they help you with any questions. Thanks for your review, Luis Enrique Lopez. It's appreciated. Mr. Castronova was nothing less than a blessing. Going to court in pain is stressful beyond belief. But not only did he ensure I was comfortable, he did everything in his power to fight for my case. Best attorney around. Hands down. Thanks for your review, Lionel Coleman. It's appreciated.